So a number of you have asked if I can cover other genres. And one particular genre that I find fun and simple to produce is house and techno. So today I'm gonna to present you the most common bass patterns used in house music. By the way, my name is Stranger, and if you wanna improve your music production and sound design, especially with dance music and drum and bass, then this channel is for you. And I know most of you guys are drum and bass fans, but I think it'll be good to broaden your skill set by learning some other genres and patterns. Who knows what you'll learn, which you can then apply to your own style of music. Comment down below and let me know what other genres you'd like me to cover. All right, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so we're gonna talk about pretty much every house rhythm that exists. And what I have here is a drum rack with a kick, and then I've placed the actual bass samples into the same drum rack, only so you can see the bass positions relative to the kick, because this is very important in house. We sequence the bass so it syncopates with the kick. Normally, I'd be using a synthesizer such as Serum to play the bass notes, but for this exercise, I just think it'll be better if you have a little more visual cue, see, being able to see the kick. Usually, I would sequence the bass with Serum or another synthesizer, but I just thought this would be a little more helpful if you can visualize everything with the kick. So the first and most common bass rhythm is the one where you place a bass hit in between the kicks. I call it the offbeat. And pretty much every other rhythm going forward will be a modulation of this basic rhythm. So here's a 4-4 four, four kick playing. And then let's place the bass in between the kicks like that. Okay, so pretty simple. Okay, and then the next rhythm, we're gonna modulate the first and third note. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take this note and that and shift it over like that. If you want it to be a little bit cleaner, you can cut the note here so it doesn't overlap with the kick. Now the next rhythm, the third rhythm, we can take this entire clip and just shift this over back here. So now this one is playing early. All right, and going back to the original, here's another one that's popularized by disco music where you double up every note like this. Also, you could imagine the kick actually taking only 1 16th. Now what you can do is you can fill the space with another note like that. Now look what happens when we add some groove quantization. So I have some swing rhythms here. Let's try swing 16th 59. Doesn't that sound super funky? So now you have the basic rhythms of house. Now from here, you can take these rhythms, mix and mash and create new patterns. Here's a popular one where you just take out the second note. Notice how much more rhythm that creates by giving that bass some space to breathe as opposed to keeping it repetitive. Now remember this pattern that we created where we filled every 16th note except the space where there's a kick. And remember we have a groove here. Let's try some other grooves. That's super funky. Very cool. Let's stick with number 54. From here, you can try placing some of the notes on an octave higher. So I have a bass sample playing an octave higher up here. So this is our main note, and here's the higher note, okay? So what you can do is perhaps take this note and move it up, right? Maybe move this one up too. You can experiment. Maybe this one, we move this one up. Repeat that pattern. 
or we can leave this one all the way down. Let's bring this one up. Mm, that one doesn't work as well. Let's try here. So as you can see, you can move the notes up an octave and you can that creates additional rhythm because now there's contrast between the notes. By the way, if it'll help you out, I'll leave a link down below where you can download all the MIDI clips that I've used today. All right, going back to the basic rhythm. Remember the one where we take these two notes and shift it one note earlier? Now let's see what happens if we combine rhythm. So let's fill all three here. Okay, and bring this one up an octave. And let's bring this one back here. So that allows it to breathe a little. Let's add one more here as an accent to fill the space. And this rhythm is actually used a lot by a house duo known as Cream. As you can see, you can take some of the basic rhythms and combine them to create a new rhythm here. So this one combines three patterns. So we have the basic pattern here on the half beat, and then you have the syncopated rhythm here. And then on the third section, on the third beat, you have the one here where it fills all three notes. And then we come back to the original. And this allows it to breathe by reducing some of the notes on the fourth beat. So this is super fun stuff. And while we're talking about patterns and MIDI, today's video is sponsored by Unison Audio. They have a really cool pack called the Unison MIDI Chord Pack. Now, I've used this for a couple years now. It's super handy. Essentially, it's a pack with 1200 MIDI files, which you can drop right into your track to use for your own composition. So here's the MIDI pack in my browser here. And essentially what you have are tons of MIDI clips organized by the key. So for example, we have C major here. Now every key has the major and it's relative minor. So if you're looking for the minor, just look for the second group here. And if you expand on here, the first thing that it has is all the basic chords. So those are the triads, right? And then you have more complicated chords such as sevens and nines. So this is super handy if you don't know how to construct chords. You can essentially take these drag and drop and create your own chord progression. Or if you're unsure of where to start, they actually have tons of progressions designed for you. So under here, we have a bunch of MIDI clips here and these are progressions. So these are combination of four or more chords that sound well together. So what I've done here is you can select all of them and then drag it over to a MIDI clip. Now in Ableton, if you hold control, while you're holding down the click, you can paste all the clips in one MIDI track. And now you can preview the pattern. So for example, here's what it looks like for this first one here. And then we can play it with our rhythm. So my bass line is written in the key of A. So what I did was I pulled the minor progressions, which are in the key of A minor. So it works well with my bass line automatically. Let's check the next one. Here's another one. That one has some vibes, number 24. Mm -hmm. 
So some very sweet chord progressions, and you can play them with pretty much any instrument and make them your own. All right, this time let's go into the extended chords folder. So this contains the single chords, and we can use this to create a progression of our own. So let's say we like that one. We can pull that one down here, and let's see what would sound good following that one. I see that sounds good. Pull it in. Let's go up to uh, D minor seventh now. Mm, maybe this one. Let's see if this works. That kind of works. Let's keep going. Let's try adding another one on top. That one might work. Let's pull it in. So let's hear it. I like that progression. So now let's consolidate all four clips and we can go inside the clip and you can use this and change the rhythm. So we can create some stab rhythms like this. Let's double that up and I take the last note of each bar and shift it over like that. Okay, let's hear it with the beat. So as you can see, you can really quickly create some really deep and really emotional chord progressions by using this tool. So if you're interested in grabbing this Unison Audio Chord Pack, they're actually offering it for 60% off and you can find it down in the link below. Now I know most of you guys are drum and bass and jungle fans. So what if we use Unison's chords with a jungle tune? So here's a track I started. And let's pull this F major 7th B5 here and have this pad using absinthe playing. Let's make this 8 bars. And let's see what happens and we shift it an octave up. Sounds great. Duplicate the note and then shift that one one note up. All right, let's hear it with the track. Dope vibes. So if you're interested in grabbing Unison Audio's chord pack, check it down in the link below. It's 60% off. So now that you know the basic patterns, let's try making some more combination patterns. Let's move this one over here. Let's move this one here. So that's a shuffle rhythm. Let's add one more note over here. Super funky. And remember, pay attention to where the bass hits are in relation to the kick. Notice how the bass hits are syncopating against the kicks. Let's try moving this guy back over here. That gives more of a techy kind of trancey vibe. Let's move this guy over here. I like how this one gives some space to breathe before the bass starts. Finally, let's move this guy over here. Mm, that's funky. And remember, experiment with adding groove profiles or swing to the bass hits. You might just add a little more funk to it. So lots of different combinations here. All right, back to the house rhythms. So. 
going back into this cream rhythm we had. So this time I'm playing it directly in Serum because I'm gonna show you now what you can do once you have your pattern. How can you make it more interesting? Because right now it's more monophonic. It's just playing one note repeatedly. So what you can do is you can duplicate it and you can shift and transpose it to create a progression. We can take this one and go higher. So taking that cream rhythm, I've placed it all on the same note again. Here's another fun thing you can do with the notes. Instead of going an octave up, try playing the different keys of the scale. So I'm on A minor. So let's shift some of the keys to the perfect fifth, which would be E. Much more melodic that is, super fun. Let's add this note up here. Now that's starting to sound pretty badass with that little off note here, moving an octave up. Let's try filling more octaves up here. Maybe like down here. Let's go like that. So almost an infinite amount of combinations you can create simply by learning the basic rhythms and then getting more complex rhythms and combining these rhythms. And then finally taking these rhythms and playing different notes. This is super fun stuff and you can create some very interesting bass rhythms by using all these tips today. All right, so there you have it. In my mind, these are the most common bass patterns used in house music, as well as in its derivatives, such as techno, trance, and EDM. Remember, learn the basic patterns and then try combining the patterns to create new rhythms. And once you get that, try exploring and experimenting with different notes and progressions. Once you master this, you'll be on your way to creating some funky music. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. All this helps my channel grow. All right, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, keep practicing, and I'll see you at the next video. If you want to support, we got a new preset pack out with some big bass sounds. It's called Wubs and Wobbles. And you can check it out in the link below. And while you're at it, you can check out my other products as well. But if you're not ready to buy yet, remember you can download these products for free. Also down in the link below.